going to be showing you my violin because I got into music class for the violin. So let me show it to you. Look guys, here it is. Can't you believe this is a really old violin? My music teacher said it was from Germany like really long ago and it looks really old the case and it's the hard ones. They're mostly like soft and leather now but as you can see here it looks really old and scratched up and the locks are really different they just like like plain old locks they're not zippers <laughs> and this is how old it is that this one broke so this is really old and then there's just one more here so there's only two locks that can lock it because this one broke right here that's how old it is <laughs> and here it is the lock and I'm gonna show you around the case to see how old it is. See, it's a bit scratched up right there. And I'm gonna turn it, turn it around a bit more. And this is the back side. It looks pretty old, but I think this has history in it because it's from Germany. So I think it has history. And that's really cool, because I love history. And let me open it so you guys can see the violin. So open the locks. There's only two locks. Okay, that's pretty easy. Let me face it to you guys. You heard that crack when it opened? Okay. So it's open. Let me just. Oh, it's my violin, guys. It's really cool. I really love the violin. It's really cool. And we have the sponge at the back. Most violins have that. And then the bow. Let me just take it out now. Here's the violin, guys. This is the violin. And there's a sponge in the back. So it goes right here. And like most of you know. And then there's this. And the strings. Okay, so, ooh, look at the colors in the little right there where it's holding it up. It's red and green, that's cool. And this is where we put our fingers, where the little tape is at, the red tape. The sponge is here, so when you put it on your chin, it gives you your table so you can hold it. And my teacher said it gives you your table and your chin rest, which is really cool. And this is why I have the sponge at the back. And then here's the bow. And I can start playing. <laughs> That's cool, but I've really been practicing with the violin and my teacher has been leaving assignments so we have to do like what we learned that day and then we have to practice that like playing the E string and the A string I think which are these thin ones right here the first ones I think this one this string and this string we have to practice those like a lot <laughs> so we can do improvement and work better with the violin so then we could keep progressing and then we'll be really good at the violin. I'm gonna show you guys the Tucka Tucka Stop Stop. That's like a really cool lesson that we learned. So you just play this and go Tucka Tucka Stop Stop. So I wanna see if I can play it pretty good. And this is called the bow. And this is the horse hair, the screw, the grip, the frog. And uh, this is the screw I meant to say. This is the screw right here. It tightens the horse hair. But I've been trying and practicing so I can improve, but it's a bit hard, but I really love playing the violin. I really love it. I think it's so much fun. And this is the little twirl right here. And then this is the apples because they're fancy. Hmm. And this is just being holded up by like the little thingy. So that's really cool how it can um, actually hold up like that. So first we learned it on the square of our arm, which we go like this. So then you put your hand like this and go taka taka stop stop. And they call this soaping your hand. <laughs> so 
still pretty cool, but now we're doing it with the violin. Because we got like the hang of this, and then we're doing it with the violin like this. Because you guys are my stars. Bye!